Caleb here from Pluto's Gate. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how being more accepting of things in your life right now as they are, the physical circumstances and the emotions, actually can propel you and get you to where you want to be quicker. So before I do that, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do have a free Facebook group. I offer courses and I have a Patreon group all down in the description below. So let me explain something in the beginning really quick. This video is actually going to talk about how you should be more accepting of the negative things in your life. Or in other words, sometimes the no's in your life, the N-O, the no's. Now, let me explain something really quick before you start typing. What I'm about to explain, because, you know, give me a chance to explain. What I'm about to explain in this video going forward, it has nothing to do with this. So what I'm going to explain does not mean that you're settling for less, does not mean that you're giving up, doesn't mean that you're becoming a doormat, and it doesn't mean that you're becoming a pushover. It does not mean any of those things. So keep that in mind while I'm explaining the rest of this video. So <clears throat> I had a client recently, um, very, very recently, just a couple days ago, and she was just very conflicted on how to go about life with manifesting her specific person. But this can apply to any manifestation because there's a lot of manifestations in life where you can receive rejection, a job, maybe you want to become famous, some form of rejection. It's not just SPs that reject people. And she was confused because she said she had learned that she doesn't need to accept no for an answer. And where the confusion came from, like where her confusion was, was she was thinking that I have to completely deny and ignore the existence or the fact that the no happened, that the rejection happened, right? You can think of the no as somebody rejecting you, a specific person, a job offer, or if it seems like the circumstance showed up, if you think the universe rejected your manifestation, it doesn't. Trust me, you can get exactly what you want. Just let, let me explain this, okay? Just hear me out on this video. So she was confused because she was like, do I completely deny and ignore what he said and just go straight into, you know, we are together, blah, blah, blah. And I told her no. And the reason I told her no is because this is how I think of it. When people come to me for coaching, I always give them perspectives on manifesting from how I do it, from how I have learned so what I practice in my own life and what I've practiced with many ongoing clients that have seen amazing results in their life. So I want to talk about this video is basically about radical acceptance and radical acceptance is so powerful when it comes to conscious manifesting. So her confusion was, okay, he said, no, do I just completely do I not take no for an answer and just ignore it and revise it and go straight into my head and say, no, we are together? No, is what I told her. I said, this is what I want you to do right now. I told her, I said, a lot of people, they start the snowball effect of their resistance. You know, the snowball it starts to get larger as it roll down, rolls down the hill. They start the snowball effect of the resistance from the exact moment the circumstance happened, and then they start to immediately reject that reality of where the thing happened, the circumstance, and trying to get away from it. Now, rejection of your current reality doesn't always mean that you're just in straight up denial or ignoring. Sometimes it can be a very subtle feeling where you keep trying to get away from here. And again, this is why a lot of people become obsessed with watching manifesting videos, doing techniques, 700 brainless affirmations every hour, because they keep trying to get away from what is. And what they don't understand is, the more you keep trying to get away from what is right now, the more it will chase after you. So that's why in that previous video I made, the short one, where I said, only do your focusing work when it feels good or you feel neutral. When you're doing it from lack, that's when you're just going to keep getting more lack because it's the feeling of lack that keeps charging and keeps showing up in your reality. So let me kind of explain this a little further, okay? So 
what I told her is, I want you right now to accept everything as it is now. Not accept it and spin a silly story. Accept it exactly as it is right now. Accept the way that it looks. Accept that your SP rejected you. Accept that you don't like it. Accept that you hate accepting it, but accept it. Now, I want to talk about why acceptance is so powerful because acceptance is what will neutralize. In other words, to any of you that like Neville Goddard, Neville Goddard taught people, he never taught them to deny or ignore their circumstances. He taught them to look at them through the eyes of indifference. When you can look at them through the eyes of indifference, they will wither away. So we all know in the manifesting community, think about it this way. You're not going to accept no as your final answer when it comes to rejection. That's true. But you can, in the current moment, accept that, yes, I did receive a no. Because the more I try to run away and fight that no and, you know, ignore it, deny it, or just try to force it to change through focusing, the more it will persist. Because it's that deeper feeling of I have to get away from this no, this rejection, that's going to cause more resistance and more rejection to show up in your reality. So please remember that, that the acceptance of your current reality is so powerful because this is what I told her, and this is what really helped her put it into perspective. I Because I, we had a good conversation on the phone. I said, I want you to think about it this way. I said, your manifestation is either here or it's not. And just in your current present moment for now, right? It's either here or it's not. So I told her, if you accept that right now, just for now, those keywords for now, it's just for the present moment. It doesn't mean it's forever because change is the only constant. I told her, if you accept that for now, it's not here, what's the worst that can happen? I told her, I said, think about it. It's either here or it's not when it comes to any manifestation. And just because it's not here doesn't mean it's not going to show up, right? So think about it this way. It's not more, 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 more not here. It's just here or it's not. It's not, 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 not here. It's just here or it is not. You see what I'm saying? So what is the worst that can happen by you accepting that right now I received a rejection or right now things look the way they do or right now I feel this way or accept that I can't stand accepting this stuff, right? Because that's still acceptance. So let's explain. Now, again, I've mentioned this before in a few videos about acceptance, but I want to, again, mention, give a shout out to Amy because she explained this very well. So Amy from Illuminating Joy in one of her videos, I can't remember which one it is, but she explained it very beautifully. She said, if you can be more allowing of the negative things in your life, again, allowing does not mean you're being a pushover, you're giving up, you're settling for less. It has nothing to do with that. She says, if you can be more allowing of the negative things in your life, then more of the positive things can show up. Think about it this way. Allowing means, can you just let it exist? Can you let it exist without fighting it? If you can let it exist without fighting it, what starts to happen? You do what Goddard says. You're moving into the state of or looking at your circumstances through the eyes of indifference. And it just looks the way it does. And I feel the way that I do. And that's indifference right there. So when you move through the eyes of indifference, what happens? You take your very powerful attention and focus, your very powerful gaze off of the problem. And because you stopped observing it for a little bit, it was able to change. So let's think about it this way, okay? When you keep doing your assumptions, your techniques, your tools, your tips, because you can't accept that something happened, you can't accept that your SP broke up with you. You can't accept that the money's not here right now. You keep trying to run away from here because when I get over there, that's when I'll feel better. 
right? Not understanding feeling better starts first. So think about it this way. When you keep constantly obsessing of trying to figure out how to manifest this thing, to change my reality, to get away from here, because I can't fully accept the way things look now, understanding that acceptance means it's not permanent. It's just for now. It's here or it's not. It can't get any worse. It's here or it's not. That's all. And just because it's not here doesn't mean it's not going to show up. So think about it this way. I want you to think about it from the deeper level. When I keep obsessively affirming or scripting or visualizing, coming from lack, trying to force my reality to change quicker because I need it to change to feel better, right? Think about it this way. You actually keep putting, here's a great example. Uh, now, let me find something better. Oh, let me use my wallet. It's my keys right there, okay? So this is the wallet right here, right? It's Batman. So let's pretend the wallet is the circumstance. So this is the circumstance that showed up. The no, the rejection from someone or something, or just the absence of something. It, it seems like the universe is not delivering it, right? Just, just improvise whatever, whatever your current circumstances are, just improvise. We'll just pretend the wallet is the circumstance, okay? So a lot of people discover conscious manifesting by accident they discover it through YouTube or other places because they're already in rejection of what happened. They can't fully accept what happened, so they're trying to run away or fix it somehow because they can't accept it. So when especially a lot of beginners who discover conscious manifesting, what they do is they go straight into denial. In other words, they keep affirming, SP loves me, SP loves me, SP loves me, SP loves me, right? Because they can't stand to look at this. They can't accept this fully. So what happens is they don't realize and they keep saying, SP loves me, SP loves me, SP loves me. They keep putting their attention and focus on what is. And this is why they wake up and it's different day, same shit, different week, same shit, different month, different year, same shit because they won't fully accept this right now and neutralize their feelings about it because it is the feeling that is the secret. The universe doesn't give you brownie points for trying. It doesn't care that you're affirming 700 times every hour or scripting 700 times every minute. It is the feeling behind it, the feeling you keep charging your focusing work with. The feeling is what creates, the feeling is the secret. Reality keeps showing you why you feel X, Y, Z in relation to any subject. So a person who does affirmation, scripting, visualizing, whatever, because it feels genuinely good to focus on it, or they just feel neutral about it. Yeah, I'd like to focus on this, right? And then they get results. The person who says, I've been affirming 700 times every hour and, and obsessing and watching tons of videos and coach hopping and buying all the books and going to all the Reddit posts. Why isn't it here yet? Because it's the feeling you're charging it. You're the feeling of lack. Think about it. The feeling of lack of I have to get away from this is often charged from or the the fuel source from it is I'm trying to get away from this because I can't accept this. If I'm trying to get you guys to understand if you can be more accepting and allowing of the negative things in your life. If you can start accepting the no's in your life again. Accepting the no's or the rejection or the circumstance doesn't mean you're accepting it as final. That's not what it means. It means you are not being delusional or crazy and you are accepting, yes, it does exist. I actually did experience this. It does exist. But just because it exists doesn't mean I can't get what I want. Doesn't mean things won't change because change is the only constant. So, Let's think about that again one more time. This is the circumstance, no matter what your situation is. When you are constantly trying to run away from the circumstance through denial, ignoring, or through manifesting, you're trying to force your reality to change because you can't fully accept this right here and what happened. So to any of you right now that have experienced some sort of circumstance, your money is really low. Your business is failing. It's not taking off the way you want it to. Uh, your SP rejected you. You're not together. Um, you don't have the house or the car you want. Anything, whatever the circumstance is, 
if you would like to take this advice, I would highly, I would highly advise that you do. I would really suggest that you do. It will help you a lot. Do this right now. I want you to do this right now. Spend two days, 48 hours. Do not watch another manifesting video. Do not search for another success story. Do not do another affirmation or another technique. The next 48 hours, the only thing I want you to do is to accept exactly the way your current reality looks and what happened because it doesn't matter how much you try to deny or ignore it or rewrite it or run away from it. It does exist. It exists. We live in an all-inclusive universe. There is left and right, up and down, chaos and order. Contrast does exist. It doesn't mean by accepting it that you're giving up and you can't give what you, get what you want. Spend two days and fully accept the way things look right now, your physical circumstances and how you feel. And again, accept that you hate accepting it. That is still acceptance. You don't have to do this 700 times every hour, just whenever the subject comes in your head again. So let's just use a money example because I know a lot of you are sick of SP. We'll use money. I accept that for now, because remember, that's the key word, right? For now, it's just saying for the present moment. It's not saying it's forever. It's just for now. I accept that for now, I don't have the money that I want. I accept that I've been trying way too hard. I accept that for now, I feel scarcity. I don't feel abundant. I accept that I hate accepting these things. I accept the way my current reality looks, and I don't like accepting it. And I accept that I don't like accepting it. Just a complete radical acceptance of everything as it is right now. You're not going to spin a silly story. So I I accept that I have that um, I don't have the money right now, but I know money's on its way. No, cross out that last part. But I know money's on its way. Just accept it exactly as it looks right now. Spend two days doing this. I promise you guys, that problem that you tried so hard to run away from through manifesting, you'll be able to look at it very quickly within a day, a couple of days, and you'll be able to legitimately, legitimately, legitimately look at it and go, and, well, what about it? I can still get what I want. And you'll neutralize your feelings and how you felt about it. That is how quickly you can accept. Acceptance is not something that takes long. It's not a week's or a month's or a year's process over one subject. When you know how to do it, you can do it very fast. So again, when you are obsessively trying to figure out how to manifest something, or obsessively doing affirmations or visualizing scenes or assumptions, and you, you are making this manifestation the focal point of your life. It's because you are not accepting the existence of this. You may know it exists, but you're not fully accepting the existence of it. Just accept your current circumstances exactly as they are right now and exactly how you feel about it. And if you hate accepting it, accept that you hate accepting it. You know, a great phrase, a great uh, phrase from Amy is let it be OK if you can't let it be OK right now, then. Well, I can't accept this right now, so I'm going to let it be OK that I can't accept this right now. That's still acceptance. You guys will find very quickly you neutralize how you feel about your current circumstances and you're at you're at a new emotional, clean, blank slate. You're at a new stable, emotional slate right now. Seriously, I accept that I've been trying way too hard to manifest and it's not showing up yet. But I accept that for now, it's just not here. And I accept that trying way too hard hasn't gotten me anywhere because I keep trying so hard from the feeling of lack because I'm trying to run away from this in some way, shape or form. So I'm going to fully accept this. Can't stand that I have to accept this, but I accept that I can't stand having to accept this. Seriously, guys. So... I'm one of those people that teaches people, think about it this way, when it comes to the word no, I teach people don't accept no as your final answer. Absolutely. And I've seen other coaches that teach that. I agree. Do not accept no as your final answer. Of course. But accept 
that the no did happen and that it does exist because your denial of it is only going to feel it even more. And that's why you wake up and it's different day, same shit, different month, different year, different week, same shit. So again, think about it. The person who understands this exists and accepts it fully and even accepts I don't like accepting it, neutralizes their feelings about it very quickly. So the person who can't accept this fully and keeps trying to run away from it in some way, shape or form, what they keep doing is obsessively affirming and trying to figure out how to manifest the thing that they want. So the opposite of this circumstance. So what happens is <clears throat> when you can't stop trying to figure out how to manifest something or how to get away from your circumstances, or you keep obsessively affirming or visualizing or scripting, what you're doing is you are actually keeping your very powerful gaze and focus and attention on this thing. And this is why you keep it alive. That's why you're obsessively affirming and scripting and visualizing. It seems like things are getting worse because you're keeping this alive because you're living in expectation. You keep expecting it to change in order to feel better. Think about it. But the person who has fully accepted this and how they felt about it and then focuses on their manifestation whenever they feel inspired, they feel neutral, they feel positive. Neutral or positive doesn't matter. And they say a affirmation here, affirmation there, scripting here, visualizing here, here and there. That person, what happens? They look at this, but that feeling of lack of trying to get away from this has neutralized. So in other words, the person who is obsessively scripting, affirming, visualizing, or trying to manifest their reality to change right now to feel better, they don't understand it's all coming from lack, which keeps fueling this, which is why it keeps they keep waking up different day, same shit, different week, same shit, no matter how much they script, visualize, affirm, because they're not understanding the feeling is the secret. It's the feeling behind the affirmations, the assumption, the visualizing, the scripting that keeps causing this to either persist or it's the feeling if you have a feeling of neutrality or it is what it is or you know just something like that along those lines that causes this to wither away like neville goddard said when you can look at your circumstances through the eyes of indifference they will wither away neville goddard did not teach people to obsessively affirm script or visualize about their manifestation until the day it showed up he taught people to manifest through um, <clears throat> through their uh, visualizing, right? Their imagination. That was just his preferred method of manifesting, right? But he told people, go into your imagination and do your visualizing scene. He said, do it however many times you need to, you know, a couple of nights a week, whatever. That's just how he does it. You don't have to do imagination though. You don't have to do visualizing. It's just how he did it. Until you feel that it is done. Then he said, walk in your faith in the reality unseen. Walk in your faith in the reality unseen, which means you go about living your life. You don't keep trying to figure out how to manifest this. You don't keep trying to obsessively affirm or script or visualize every single night for the next 700 days. You feel that it's done because it's an inner feeling. It's done. It shows up when it shows up and you continue to live your life. So think about it this way. If you keep observing what is observing it as in it's not changing so let me try more it's not changing 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 i need to change in order to feel better because i'm not emotionally independent i need the circumstances or the manifestation to show up i need the circumstances to change or the manifestation to show up before i decide to feel better because i'm not emotionally independent it's not how manifesting works Feeling better starts first. Feeling better starts first doesn't mean that you have to be positive or happy all the time. So let those crappy feelings be there so your emotions about the current circumstance and fully accept the current circumstance. And I promise you, you will watch those emotions flow through you very quickly and you will be neutralized in a very neutral state. And it only goes up from there. So hope this video helps. If any of you are still trying to manifest and you're doing subliminals and you're doing your affirmations and you're scripting and you're visualizing, 
and you are doing it constantly, you can't stop watching 20 videos a day and reading Reddit posts and trying to find success stories for faith, it's probably because you keep trying to run away from this because you won't fully accept that this happened and yes, it does exist no matter how much you try to deny and ignore it. So if you can just look at it and accept your feelings about it and accept the way it looks and accept that you don't like accepting it and just keep doing that for two days, maybe a little bit longer if it takes you a little bit longer, it doesn't matter. It won't take you a long time though. You'll eventually get to this point where you go, and what about it? And, and things will only go up from there. So remember in life, guys, you can manifest so many amazing things and understand you don't ever have to deny the way your reality looks to get what you want or run away from it. You don't. You can accept exactly as it looks because you're understanding I'm not accepting it as the final result. It's just for now. Again, your manifestation is either here or it's not. So you have nothing to lose by acceptance. So I highly suggest all of you do this. You go into radical acceptance. Accept everything as it is right now and how you feel about it and do not accept it and then spin a little fairy tale. But I know he still loves me, but I know she still loves me, but I know the money's on its way. Just accept it exactly as it is right now and how you feel and keep accepting it until you feel neutral. You don't have to accept it 700 times every hour. Just when the, the, the thought of it comes in your head again, just do your acceptance again. You will find very quickly within a few minutes, a few hours, a day or two that you've completely accepted it and it only gets better from there.